Welcome to another episode of the Produce Picker Podcast. I'm your host, Ray, the Produce Picker, and on today's episode, we're going to take a look at an interesting and little lesser known fruit, the Kiwano Melon. You're watching episode 13 of the Produce Picker Podcast. Native to the Kalahari Desert in Africa, the Kiwano Melon goes by many names. Some of these are the Horn Melon. As you can see, when you take a look at this guy, it's got pretty sharp horns. The African Horn Cucumber, which will be a little bit more evident when we open it up and you'll see why. An English Tomato, a Hedge Gourd, a Jelly Melon, and a Milano. Now grown in New Zealand and California, the Kiwano Melon is widely available year round. You want to choose Kiwanos that are bright orange and don't have any bruises or soft spots. Also, look for the melon which has its horns most intact as it's a good indication of its freshness or that at the very least it hasn't been mishandled in transportation. I guess the biggest question besides what is it is what do you do with it? Well, it actually has a lot of uses. Use the Kiwano melon in desserts such as toppings for cheesecakes, flans, mousses, souffles, and sundaes. It can also be added as an ingredient to smoothies. Also, try the Kiwano melon in fresh fruit salads or served as a garnish on roasted meats. The seeds of the Kiwano are edible and the shells can be used in a unique way. Hollow out the shell and use them as a serving bowl for your desserts such as sorbets. I'm going to cut into this guy in a minute so you can see its unique insides and show you how you can use it to serve up unique desserts. Another great use for the Kiwano is simply as a decoration. Place this fruit on your table and it's sure to start conversation. It's a one-of-a-kind look and the contrasting colors, the bright orange on the outside and the gray colors of the inside, they're, they're surefire way to get your dinner guests talking. Quite unique in appearance and taste, you'll find the Kiwano Melon in the pros department, usually located next to other unique tropical fruits such as star fruit, red tamarillos, persimmons, lychee nuts, and other specialty fruit. You can store the Kiwano for about up to a week on your countertop as it's a fairly sturdy item that doesn't need to be placed in the refrigerator. Now let's look at how to cut open the Kiwano melon and what to do with it once you get it open. For best results when cutting the Kiwano, begin by selecting a knife with a long straight blade. Stand the Kiwano upright and begin your cut in the center top portion of your melon. Simply divide the Kiwano in half by cutting straight down the center being careful not to cut your hand. You may be surprised to find out that it's green inside. Ouch! <laughs> you see, I told you it was sharp. Notice the great contrast of the colors between the orange on the outside and the brilliant green of the inside. You can eat the Kiwano melon simply by scooping out the insides, as you'll see in a second, or by using its juice to add to desserts. The Kiwano has a jelly-like texture with hints of banana, cucumber, and lime flavors. I've grabbed a fork and a spoon and begun to scrape out the insides of the Kiwano into a bowl. Once all the insides have been removed, you can clean out the shell and use it to serve desserts such as sorbets or perhaps make it into a cup for soups or drinks. Another suggestion would be to leave it simply as is and display it as part of a centerpiece. This is a surefire way to get people talking. With a Kiwano melon, you're limited only by your own imagination. Make up interesting uses for your Kiwano and email them to me at ray at producepicker.com. I look forward to hearing what you come up with. That's a look at another interesting and unique fruit here on the Produce Picker podcast. Make sure to check out producepicker.com where you can click on the link section and see us on many sites such as YouTube, Facebook, MySpace, Check us out there, pick your favorite one, and become a friend of the show. See you later. You've been watching another episode of the Produce Picker Podcast. Remember to check out ProducePicker.com for many more great tips.